सो टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट रेजन टू हार्डनर रेशो दिस इज सच एन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड आई हैव सीन मैनी मैनी आर्टिस्ट हु आर नॉट एबल टू कैलकुलेट दिस रेशो इन अ करेक्ट मैनर we have a lot of different types of reasons some are three ratio 1 some are 10 ratio 6 and some are two ratio 1 and one ratio 1 as well there are different types and the easiest one of them is one ratio 1 because it is simple now i will show you how you can calculate your required volume without any mistake it involves a little bit of maths So let's say if the full capacity of your mold is 250 ml, and you want to fill half of it, that reduces 250 ml to 125 ml. Now, out of this 125 ml, how are you going to calculate that how much resin you have to pour and how much of the hardener you are going to use? It's very easy. You just need to find out the uh, parts to out of the total. So if it is one twenty five mL, we will be taking two parts of resin out of the three, since it is two ratio one type. This two ratio one is sometimes also mentioned as two hundred grams to. 100 gram ratio, or sometimes it is also written as 100 grams to 50 grams, or 100 to 50 ratio. They all mean the same. Two ratio one in the simplified form, right? So don't get confused by these. Now, what we have to do is for raisin, we will take part two, since it is two out of three. so we will write 2 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator and then we will multiply it with 125 ml which is the total volume that we need to pour in so by doing simple calculation you can easily find its value and you can always round it up or round it down according to the uh, number that falls after decimal place So it is eighty three point three mL. I will for this amount. I will use eighty three as my rounded off figure. Now for hardener, I'm going to do the same. It is one out of three because the total parts are three, and hardener is one out of three. So one out of three by twenty one twenty five is forty one point six. Or you can also write. Or use forty-two mL since it's not round rounded off. You you can't really measure the values in points on the digital scale. Sometimes you cannot do that, so you have to round it off. Now let's say if we have two hundred mL of uh, uh, resin that we want to make for our project, and it's two ratio one. So now we will calculate the resin in the same manner: two by three times two hundred, and hardener. One by three times two hundred, and now you can easily calculate, or you can find the breakup of two hundred mL into the resin and hardener without any failure. So for two hundred mL, we will be pouring one thirty three mL of resin, and sixty six point six mL of hardener, and you can round it off as. 67 ml right so this is simple now i will show you this is for two ratio 1 now i will show show you how you can do the same for a resin that has a ratio of 3 ratio 1 parts of resin in one part of hardener and together they are going to make four parts right so It's very easy, just like the one we have already done. If we want to measure for 125 mL, and the resin is 3 ratio 1, sometimes you will also find it as 300 grams ratio 100 grams. So don't get confused; they all are same. So now, how you are going to find the resin? 
out of 125 ml to calculate the resin part you have to find the you will you will take 3 out of 4 times 125 so after doing the calculation the answer is going to be 93.8 and you can round it up and use it as 94 ml right so out of 125 ml 94 ml is going to be our raisin and now i'm going to show you how you can calculate your hardener 1 by 4 times 125 since hardener is one portion out of the four so one by four times 125 and the answer is 31.25 ml and you can round it down to 31 ml this was for 125 ml now let's assume that you need 225 ml for your project and you have to calculate your resin and hardener for three ratio one now you will repeat the same steps 3 by 4 times the amount you want to make right this will give you the amount of resin and 1 by 4 times the amount you want to work with right the amount we are working with here is 225 so the resin is 169 i have rounded it up and hardener is going to be 56 ml for this 225 ml this was for 3 ratio 1 now I will show you for 10 ratio 6 10 ratio 6 is a very popular um, raisin here in Middle East like it's its calculation is also very easy I will just go over it quickly same it's 10 ratio 6 or 100 ratio 60 grams as well don't get confused they both mean the same now the raisin is going to be calculated as 10 by 16 times 125 ml and the answer is 78 ml 78.1 but we will round it down Now I will be calculating hardener. It's 6 ratio 10. 6 is the amount of hardener. Among the 16 parts, we just have 6 parts of hardener. So for that, we will write 6 by 16 times the volume that we want to work with. So after calculating, you can see that the answer is 46.87. But I am going to round it up and it will be 47 ml. And together 47 ml plus 78 ml will make 125 ml. Now let's say we need we are working on a project that needs 330 ml of resin. How you are going to calculate resin and hardener? Same way. 10 by 16 times 330 for resin and 6 by 16 times 330 for hardener. So these are the values, we will round them up or down according to the number that falls after the decimal place. That's it. So this is for six, 10 ratio 6, right? I hope I was able to make it clear to you. You can write the formula. Uh, on a piece of uh, paper where you normally work with your raisin so that you don't make a mistake I normally write different ratios on my weighing scales cover so whenever I am using a particular brand I refer to its ratio and then I calculate it here you can see it's very simple if your raisin is A and your hardener is B so the raisin is calculated as A over A plus B. The denominator is basically the sum of raisin and hardener. And numerator is the respective part. If you are calculating raisin, then raisin will come in the numerator. And so is the case with the hardener. 
If you like this video then please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.